Okay, we back in the core. We back in the core. Let's just pray that the quality looks better because this is literally my second time filming this video. All right, you guys, cue the intro. <laughs> Brooklyn and I am back once again with another YouTube video so as y'all can tell from the title I'm giving you guys a new series that I've actually been thinking about making on my channel and that is a 20 something series it's basically gonna be a digital video diary but on my YouTube channel or like I said before this is my second time filming this video because unfortunately I filmed it the first time and the quality sucked so I was so upset and I just scrapped it and I was about to just be like you know what nah I'm just not gonna do it but then I was like you know what Brooklyn you're gonna do this because this is an idea that you've had for some time and it would be really cool to you know give advice or encourage the next person that may watch my content for those of y'all who have not seen this face before hi my name is Brooklyn I give you guys content that talks about my faith as a believer in Jesus Christ but not only that I give you guys other content such as vlogs school related content specifically HBCU related content music advice videos that just give y'all a glimpse of my my life for those of y'all who have not already do not forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and turn on those post notifications so that way you guys will not miss out on any uploads also do not forget to follow me on my socials which are up here and down below as usual so without further ado let's get on started hey hey get on started hey hey okay you guys so basically i'm gonna try to remember majority of what i talked about in the video that i scrapped so basically y'all as y'all know i recently just turned 20 honestly first of all I had a really great birthday it was really really great the day before I had a birthday dinner and I celebrated with some of my great friends I was gonna vlog my birthday this year but then I was like you know what Brooklyn just kind of live in the moment this time because I've been vlogging my birthday since I was 17 <laughs> like I thought it would be cool to just have a moment where I don't vlog and instead I'm just enjoying the moment I had my birthday dinner I posted my pictures I was like you're really really cute and after I turned 20 I feel like a switch went off in my head. I've just been thinking extra hard and meditating a lot about doing things way better in my 20s versus my teen years. My teen years weren't all bad. I've had a lot of great moments in my teen years. I learned a lot about myself in my teen years as well. However, again, it was something clicked in my head where it's like, okay, we're doing things completely different. My 20s, I'm gonna be healed whole and blessed. I'm not gonna be struggling with the same things that I did. Anxiety, we're not not gonna be struggling with that overthinking comparison all of that right and I feel like first of all I haven't even been 20 for a month yet and so girl first of all give yourself time but also another part of me was was battling between wanting so much for myself and wanting the growth and then reminding myself that I can't put immense pressure on myself very much had the potential to if I wasn't careful you want so much for yourself but where do you even start and I think that caused me to kind of my mind kind of started to just go on overdrive because I'm thinking oh my gosh like I have to have this together and that together and that together and after talking with trusted people in my circle I came to the realization that I need to take my time and give myself some grace and realize that the things there are some things that I can truly say that I'm actually going to touch on in this video that I have grown from in the past two to three years there are some things where if you were to ask me how I felt about certain things in 2021 or 2022 I have a way different outlook on it now I need to do better with celebrating the small wins and not putting again so much immense pressure on myself that I lose sight of the growth that has taken place that's why I love doing visual diaries still because I'm still showing you guys my growth process and it's something that I can look back on I could watch my videos when I'm like 30 and see how much I have learned and how much I have grown that's why I just love documenting these things and regardless if it's still trendy or not I still want to keep it up on my personal channel because it's just so beautiful to look back on one of the things I wanted to touch on that I feel like I've been growing in is my singleness season of singleness as people 
most likely have heard um something else that has sparked in me after i turned 20 is the desire to embrace my singleness like i've just it like a switch i don't know what happened but like a switch just went off and i was like oh yeah like we're really gonna embrace the singleness more in the past few years i have grown to love solitude and just being by myself like being by myself is cool i love just chilling by myself i love hanging out with my friends and family but sometimes i just need time to myself i have learned to embrace it and to love it even more and as far as the companionship part i am still working on that we gonna get we won't get we won't get transparent we won't be real um i feel like one thing that i'm still working on is surrendering certain feelings to god coming to him instead of feeling like i have to dwell on certain thoughts or certain feelings all on my own look i'm gonna be real like one of my love languages is physical touch that along with words of affirmation i feel like are two of my love languages i feel like after my breakup it's hard like it's been hard because again like you don't have somebody to hug or show you know that version of affection to them and i find myself becoming frustrated because i don't have anybody to give that to me honestly i feel like this is the kind of stuff that young believers need to hear because a lot of people deal with these things and a lot of people feel as though they have to conceal it because they're afraid to be judged or they're afraid of people looking at them weird this is real life this is what real people deal with and that's why surrendering to god and bringing these feelings to God is so crucial regardless of how uncomfortable or how weird it might feel because I feel like sometimes when we have these feelings we think oh we ca I can't come to God about this like I feel alone like I want to be booed up with somebody like I can't go to God about that but he understands he understands those feelings cultivating your own relationship with Christ intimacy and communion with him it's so important and the more you build that bond and relationship with him there's going to be times where you're struggling and the first instinct is to go to God about it and honestly that's where I want to be we all we all could get better at something you know what I'm saying and I'm not perfect I haven't arrived there are times where I go to social media before I go to God there's times where I've gone to other people before God and so that's something I'm definitely working on as well I feel like another thing that I have come to terms with is the fact that it's like on one hand I want to be in a relationship but then at the same time I feel feel anxious about the thought of being in a relationship that makes zero sense but it's weird like it's because i feel like i have to have everything all together and i have to be perfect we're never going to be perfect we're always going to have something to work on and to learn my first relationship i had so much anxiety anxious it was to the point where i would wake up and get sick it was a really hard time for me one of my biggest fears is making the wrong decision and making the wrong choice and when it comes to the person that you're with that is a big deal a lot of people think that just having these random flings is okay and it's cool and society might normalize it and the world might normalize it but for me I am dating to marry and I'm dating with intention I'm not saying that all men lack intention but there are some that do and that's why it's so important like to ask like what are your intentions and getting the hard uncomfortable weird convos out of the way there was one time where I had met this person and I asked him what his intentions were and I was so nervous <laughs> but I just had to because I shouldn't be in this thing without clarity i am doing this so that i can know so that we can be on one accord on what we're on and are we going to take this further or are we just going to keep it at a friendship level and leave it at that and honestly i feel like it does save you a lot of frustration and heartbreak and everything that comes with that one lesson that god has been teaching me learning how to cultivate relationships with guys without thinking that they're going to be your future partner or your future husband you can have guy friends and not think that oh it could be him or it could be him i found myself doing that a lot especially when they're christian guys it's so hard because you're like oh my gosh they are christian too when you see that their fruits match what they talk about let's be real it makes you more attracted to them and that's what i realized that about myself and it's okay to say that i mean we're human but at the same time i was like okay don't allow yourself to go down that rabbit hole because you're gonna end up being disappointed or upset just because he's a man of god doesn't mean he he's your man of god hard pill to swallow but yeah okay also my camera definitely probably just overheated so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i hope that you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications you already know the drill by now Buki. make sure you guys like comment and turn on post notifications so that way you guys will not miss out on any uploads also do not forget to follow me on my socials which are up here and down below as usual my mom is watching me god bless you guys i love y'all so much and i will see you next time Bye.